Hey there. All right. We are back for our second part of this series. And I just want to say thank you. Um, I felt a little tired last night. So I was like, no, we are definitely going to crush it today. I'm even going to add an extra day to this because in going through this presentation today, we covered so much last night that I really want to get to the, the no list building part because for a lot of you, and please raise your hand for those of you on this you know, webinar or even put in the chat box, if you have a small list or a no list. So I want to be able to like take an entire just webinar where I talk about how to launch when you don't even have like a list. Um, and even if you're seeing this on Facebook, like please drop no list so I can come back and we can really like, you know, kind of master plan what that is about. Okay, so let's just get right down to this, right? First off, my name is Rachel Feldman and I teach coaches basically what I did from the start. It's not fancy. I mean, given as the years have gone on, I have learned funnels and I've learned automation, but you know, strategy has to be specific to you. And so I'm going to take you through a process today. I want you to think about your own business. I hope that you've, you know, looked at the planner last night and really mapped out or started to even think, what am I going to launch? What do I want to launch? Why? Why would somebody want a journey with me? How does that relate to my story? What are the pain points that that person is experiencing? And not just like, oh, I want to eat clean, but I'm so sick of ordering out pizza every night and I don't like how I feel and I have no energy and I've got wrinkles or, you know, I don't like my body anymore. I don't like how I look. I don't like how I feel. So really write those down. The more that you write those down and you put them where you see them every day, in the bathroom, in the place that you dress, on the mirror, you know, in, in your bathroom or in a place in your office, you are going to be able to talk to your avatar in everything that you do. And your avatar most often is also you. And you go through those different evolutions too. So always think about yourself. Okay, so let's just sit down here. Okay, so hold on. Okay, so we're going to talk about all this amazing stuff. Because I started to think about today, like, it's not just you and and I kind of combined a few different webinars that I've done. It's not just you um, thinking about launching with a certain plan, right? I mean, you can download that anywhere. James Wedmore, Sue McLaren, um, there are tons of business coaches that, that do this, you know, where it's like, here, this is, this is a layout. They opt in, just like we covered last night. They opt into the lead magnet, whatever that is, giveaway challenge, a webinar, an opt-in freebie. And then they come into an email sequence. And then you have the last call and you have all of that. But it also leaves you with the, how do I price? <laughs> what do I do? Like, you know, the psychology of pricing and people always ask me this. So your buyer has basic needs. I want you to think about the sweet spot. One, I want you to also think about how much you charge per hour because group coaching on average is a third of your price. So just think about it now. Do you charge 80, 100, 150, 200, 250, three, four? What is your per hour and what is your per month? And also note that the psychology of a buyer, and tell me if you agree, the psychology of a buyer when you buy something over 100, over 200, over 300 is different. So I want you to think about 
your pre-marketing. Not that you can't sell a program, either a high ticket or something that's $397. It's just going to take what? More pre-marketing, more sneak peeks, more clarity for that buyer on why this is valuable for them. How many of you know <laughs> and think it's absurd that somebody, of course, no joke, will spend, and I did this last week, 100 getting some reflexology, my nails, and an unbelievable pedicure. But the client question spending 97 for two weeks of coaching. Raise your hand if you've seen that 20,000 times over. How many of you think it's shocking when somebody says, I can't afford you? And maybe your price per month is like $450. But you see them, and this is no offense because I love Louis Vuitton and Gucci and everything, but you're like, wow, this person, I'm not saying they're dressing like from, you know, and, and given, I, I shop on Amazon and Marshalls and all that different stuff, but you're like, say they want to get better. They like have this gorgeous purse. <laughs> and they're saying that like coaching where they could change their life with me is not worth $450. So I want you to think about the mindset of your buyer. As you think about your launch, as you think about your, you know, your, your strategy, because Sarah Wilson sells an eight week program for $187. Now there are coaches in our paid forum that I know sell a one month program for 387. I know coaches who do one hour workshops for $450. I know coaches who sell 14 day programs for $57. So again, it's a combination of your own mindset and confidence, but it's also a combination of the clear messaging that that person needs to hear. Do we agree? When you really hear a clear message, of that journey, A to Z, that you're gonna go through, and you feel confident that this person is gonna take you there because you've identified with their story. You saw social proof and case studies, or you saw testimonials, and you're like, I am definitely, I, I'm all in. The price becomes irrelevant. So you might be a new coach, you might be a seasoned, or you might be even at different prices. Again, these are just relative but it's important to know so that then you can price out your programs. And again, these are just relative. It's great to look at examples, but it's also great for you to have this as you're thinking because everything's a reverse engineer. You wanna think about what you're offering and you wanna back into it by date. For some of you launching in April, are you overlapping Mother's Day? This is for the US, of course. For some of you who are launching in May, are you going too near Memorial Day weekend? Or as I mentioned last night, are you giving a video or a handout on how to strategically make it through those holidays, which is actually really cool. I've done that in, in July when I've launched programs, how to make it through the barbecue. Or, or I've launched a program like <laughs> recovery after July 4th. So I want you to just think about this. Early bird, late bird, you know, all those different things. Launch your spring. Gateway program pricing. And then think about just, you know, your signature. And again, this is more of you thinking about the flow. How many of you would more rather low-hanging fruit and getting people than to have you know, a very high price program, be maybe worried and not get the people that you really need to get. I know for me, I always went more with the low hanging, but again, this is based on you, this is your business. So I want you to think about what's really comfortable, what's a comfortable price. So you can offer discounts. So this is the thing that I want in the planning. 
you're, again, you're downloading your materials or maybe you're having a virtual assistant do it. You're editing. You're editing any support emails or maybe you're using those as pinned posts in the forum. You can also schedule those via Meet Edgar, Hootsuite, or Buffer. You could have emails that go out as a welcome email, also called an autoresponder, a mid, a mid check in, and one at the end, and a follow up. People don't have to get an everyday email. You don't have to. You can, you can also force them, be like, hey, I'm giving you this support in the forum. It also creates great engagement. The same time you're doing that, you're looking at any pre marketing emails. And I want you to also define any bonuses. For many of you who are in the business mastermind and the meal planning membership, which I charge quarterly, so it comes to $67 a month, many of those coaches are taking that, those meal plans, which is a month, and using them as like healthy, clean eating bonus packs as bonus, bonus one, two, three. Many of you offer an extra class. Many of you offer an extra recipe guide or you offer a low cost program as a bonus. Many of you also do early bird and late bird pricing where you offer a discount code. Much easier to do if you have Infusionsoft or Entreporter Active campaign. Um, but you can also do discount codes if you have a junkie. So think about what is going to get somebody to feel like there's a little urgency for them to join you. So if you don't have a program or if you feel like there's a missing spot, and again, it does not have to just be online. You may wanna be hosting a um, group offline. You may want to be doing a shopping tour. You may want to be doing a series of cooking classes or even a series of classes. You could do a series of classes where they're $30 each and they can buy the whole bundle at $120 and they get something, they get a little bonus if they do that. If you get $120 and you have 25 people, that's $3,000. So you want to just think sales page, your social media. If you don't have social proof or testimonials, reach out to five people today. Friends, family, say, here's my program. Please go through it, even if it's just for a few days. And can you give me a testimonial or can I do a mini case study with you? Maybe some friends, maybe some family, see if one will do a case study because it's so powerful. Testimonials, and testimonials are great to get from a challenge. So for some of you who are starting a challenge, maybe like right after Easter, because we're coming up on April, or maybe you're having your challenge lead to your program, you're having a webinar lead to your program, it's great to take little snapshots and you can either white out the name, you know, through Pick Monkey or anything, or, or say to the person, is it okay if I use your name? You then have a webinar where you're having, and then you have your replay and your follow-up emails. This is the simple plan. Keep it simple. Does this make sense to everyone? Now, as I mentioned yesterday, you're telling a story. You're telling a very distinct story that backs up from what you're selling. So if you were to be launching like the clean eating program, what is the story about that? You wanna to be touching on maybe eating organic. You wanna to be touching on the stuff that you put on your skin. You know, is this a healthy lipstick? Is the stuff that I'm putting on my lotion that clean? Maybe you want to be talking about the stuff you put in your hair. So you start to think about key topics that spark people's attention. 
Is the food that you're really eating clean or did you get duped? Interesting. One live stream, one blog, one newsletter. If I'm selling a gut program or maybe I'm selling paleo because paleo is so related to the gut. I'm going to be talking about thyroid and grains. I'm going to be talking about adrenal. I'm going to be talking about, you know, movement even. I'm going to be talking about grounding yourself when you're around a computer and a phone so much because that's the paleo way. That's the paleo life. If I'm selling a detox, I'm going to be talking about skin brushing and tongue scraping. And I'm going to be talking about the spring and the liver and detoxification and why it's so important to do that. If I'm talking about ketogenic, I'm going to actually share what that did for me and what that looks like. What a keto meal looks like. Because people hear that and they're like, oh God, am I even going to eat anything? But let me even show you. Because here's one of my keto books. Here's a keto meal. So when you're thinking about planning your launch, which is why so many of you have pictures, how amazing if I were to be like, hey guys, join me in my kitchen. I'm making this recipe. Show you a picture of the recipe. That's your planning. You want to sit down and really plan. Take a Google Doc or take you know, um, an Excel spreadsheet and plan that out and then move it to a whiteboard. Maybe the whiteboard gets you feeling overwhelmed. Maybe you're more of like a stick it kind of person. Well, stick it. Or maybe you want to use more of like this kind of strategy where you know you have a lot of things there and then you transfer it to an actual plan. So we talked about funnels yesterday. This is what I put together last uh, two seasons ago and I wanted to just share it with you because I think this visual is much easier to comprehend compared to the ones um, that we looked at. And this is one of your downloads today. Um, so your funnel one is webinar. This could be a blog, social media post, emails, Facebook ad, or a video. And in rev, -E com, they charge you per minute. You can add subtitles to that video because how many of you look at the video, <laughs> but you never click on it so you don't see what it's actually saying. So you can upload, you can get an account with Rev and do that. Live stream, live stream interviews, live stream Q and A's, um, that leads them to the opt-in page. So remember, you don't have to have this fancy launch to have a really successful launch. You don't have to do a challenge to a webinar to this. You don't even have to do a webinar but you do need to be visible. So that means maybe doing an IG story, maybe just doing stories with pictures, having using the social media that we provide for you, using the flyers, taking even pictures <laughs> and uploading them. A blog, which is why the blogs are so valuable because then once you have a blog and you just take that opt-in freebie and you put it in your email server, even if you do that with a virtual assistant, once you have that, it's there forever. Then you share that in multiple places. Leading to an opt-in page. You're warming up, that's the first date. That is where you are saying, hey, this is what I'm about. And for some of you, you just go so niche down, like because you're doing ketogenic, you do the ketogenic opt-in. Someone might not even understand that they're supposed to do that. They're worried about weight loss. They're worried about cleansing. Or maybe your focus is on weight loss, but they're thinking about sugar because that's their main problem, even though they gained weight. But their main wake up problem is sugar. Or their main problem is that they can't detoxify. Their doctor was like, you have the MTHFR gene. And they're like, oh my God have this. <laughs> I can't detox. What am I going to do? So again, you never know what your people's problems are because you also never know when someone comes into your funnel. 
You never know also when you meet someone at the market or at a soccer game or at the resort that you're staying when you go on vacation with your loved one or your family and you happen to be talking. You just never know what somebody's going to say. How many times, raise your hand, have you met somebody and you never even thought you were going to get into a whole conversation about what you do and you did and all of a sudden you got a client. <laughs> um, happens constantly. Or you say, oh yeah, you know, here's my card. Go to my site. I have this amazing opt. I have this amazing free guide. This really helped me. That's your first date because they really get to see what you're about. That leads them to a nurture sequence or that leads them to the program or the paid masterclass or your work with me. Opt it, funnel number two. Warm means somebody who knows you. Cold is, you know, again, this is a person who doesn't know you, so that's cold traffic. Opt-in page, Facebook ad. This is where you can get more into retargeting because um, this is warm traffic. Your list can be uploaded to Facebook um, Power Editor or it can be uploaded, you know, into the back of your Facebook ads. Um, you could have a video series. Again, you could have a video series. I did this. <laughs> this was my first opt-in because I didn't know how to make one in Word. Um, even though I'd run a six-figure plus business in commercial real estate, we didn't have websites. Um, I barely used Office. <laughs> I worked in an office, but I didn't use that platform. I, we used a database and we call people. Um, so, you know, my first, my first opt-in was actually a video series on how to restore your gut health. And I did a three part. So you can do that now and it doesn't have to be like so crafty. Um, I put those videos with video links right in a welcome letter. Somebody opted in, they got those video links. I think at the time, maybe I put them even on a word document. Um, it was not pretty, but it worked. And so I really encourage you to let go of any perfection because it is your excitement that is going to have people hire you. Um, they can opt in with a page with case studies or it can be a combination of both. Um, and the reason that you're doing this is they know you. So, you know, you, the first date they've had with you, but you still need to, you still need to show them why you're different. Why are you different? Why they need to hire you? when everyone else is running, you know, a program or a big name like Elizabeth Ryder or Sarah Wilson. Foo-foo on that. I love them. I love both of them. I think they're pioneers. I'm grateful for them being leaders, but you know what? You're a leader too. And so you really have to own that because you have a very special story that somebody needs to hear. Um, I could take them to the masterclass strategy session could even take them to signature strategy sessions, which are paid strategy, like are more paid strategy sessions or ones where you are really specific um, into um, like what they actually need to talk about. Meaning that you do strategy sessions more for like thyroid support, gut support, and you really niche it down. So that's a landing page with an email, with an AR, with a story and a video teaching series and handouts. So you can even give them a handout and that can even lead to a nurture five series or even a three or even a two. When I ever do a five, and I've suggested this, especially since email marketing has changed, I always say, say like at the bottom of the first email, like make sure you open tomorrow because I'm gonna give you another gift or another piece of the puzzle I don't want to waste your time. So make sure that you keep opening um, and don't wait till like the last fifth email to sell them. Bring it at like three. You've nurtured them at one or two, which we talked about. Talk about it at three. Maybe it's a gate. Maybe it's just, you know, a, a masterclass. Maybe you're bringing them um, to an event that you're having. Just remember, whenever you do something that is only specific for that date, set a note on your calendar to go back and fix that funnel. <laughs> um, because 
Um, that's happened to me where someone's been like, um, this is leading me to a webinar that you did before. And I'm like, ah. Oh. So, you know, make sure that you fix that and you just leave a note um, because maybe you want to lead them to a local workshop. I am, you know, talking to um, an acupuncturist right now about doing one locally and running a space. So, you know, that would actually be a funnel that I would have. And then I would, of course, change it to like a paid master class or a do-it-yourself detox, something that would still flow. Um, so that could be a signature program, gateway. It could be your work with me. It could be a mastermind. Again, many of you, some of you are new. Some of you are new and doing retreats. Some of you are at that retreat stage. And so you're doing memberships and being at retreats, um, all different stages. Okay. Um, I'm going to answer questions just after. So please, if you do have questions, please put them. I just want to make sure that I stay really focused on this. Um, so this is funnel three. And um, I wanted to differentiate because I differentiate between a whole funnel and individual funnels. Your individual funnels, those are your first dates leading to marriage most simple way of looking at a funnel. It's your first date leading to the win. And you'll hear this a lot. It's an infusion soft term. It's a funnel hacking term. The win is the goal. Where do you want them to go? And that's why it's important also to reverse engineer, like even in your own mind, like am I taking them to a webinar? From the webinar is the goal one-on-one -on -one sessions to get them to a retreat. Is the goal to get them to a program? Is it to get them to um, a, like a low cost program? Is it to get them to work with me one on one? What is the goal? So you always wanna know the goal because that's gonna also put your tone in your emails. It's also going to help to create clarity for you. Um, and, you know, also off of that optim or off of that even one lead magnet, there can be different goals, you know. Um, for example, you might be selling a program that is a middle cost program, but somebody might come off of that webinar or a challenge and say, you know what, look, I know you've got this group program going, but I really need like one-on-one -on -one support from you. I just, I... And so you might have a place on that replay that says, you know, click here if you, if, you're, if you need to talk to me about this program. And that might lead to one-on-one. -on -one. But if, if the goal is to get them to that program, you really want to nail down your story, why this program is really important for them. Or if you're doing this offline and you're doing a free workshop, to have people interact during that free workshop so that they really understand the value of working with you and what it's going to be like. I often in the middle at 15 minutes, at another 30, 45, I will have interaction. So um, lead them to a gateway on email three. For an existing coach, you're gonna have a higher level sequence like this. Um, you know, and you might have multiple opt-in freebies. The whole idea is that when you're planning, you have your dates nailed out. So maybe you start on April 22nd, April 26th, um, so that you have that time to really pre-market, which is right now. If you go later in um, May, and again, you totally can, you just need to give strategies to say to somebody, look, we're going to be going over Mother's Day, we're not meeting on this day, you know, everyone take a rest or, or if you are, you know, falling over Memorial Day weekend, um, you know, or maybe you're starting in the beginning of June, you just have to be careful depending on who your niche is. For people who have kids, you know, sometimes that's school getting out. For people who have Memorial Day weekend, sometimes that's a four-day holiday. So you just have to be a little strategic. For some of you, it might mean also shortening your program. 
It might also mean that you're choosing a different program right now, maybe more of a gateway, which is anywhere from like four or five to 21 days at max. I think 14 days is usually the sweet spot and 21 days being a little higher can sometimes fall into more of the signature. Before you even launch, here's my second tip, you get visible. And this doesn't have to be done in like eight weeks. Getting visible, and I said this um, earlier to a coach this morning, because she was like, okay, I bought, you know, like one of your systems, which we give a 15% discount on the entire system, even on a payment plan. She said, so but what do I do? I said, pick one program that you're gonna launch and start to share. Do those blog posts, share them. Still to this day, I do one to two blog posts a week. I show on LinkedIn, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest. I created the boards on Pinterest many years ago. I still need to go clean them up um, and kind of up-level my Pinterest. My goal is always to do one to two videos. I'm gonna put myself on a video challenge and try to aim for like four videos a week to love up my YouTube channel. And share, share in different groups. Um, don't share in a spam way because Facebook will put you into jail, but you have to share your story. And for those of you who are not doing Facebook ads, you're not gonna get as visible on your Facebook business page, which is why in our free group, we do post your, your Facebook business page and we do that once a week. We also do that with your Instagram because Instagram and Facebook are all based on algorithms. They say, wow, is this liked? So they push it up to the top. So you may want to use your personal page a little more or at least change out the banner on your personal page to say, get all my free recipes, get my free downloads, <clears throat> and find out everything I'm doing on my business page. You may wanna do a strategy that many use, which is to announce on your personal page that you're going live on your business page two hours before you do that and put a great picture because everyone does what? They stop the pictures. So um, if you're going local, I used to post flyers everywhere. <laughs> Anywhere there was a push board, I put a flyer. And I always, it's one of the reasons we make ours very visual and colorful um, because that's where people's eyes stop. So make sure that you are showing up. You might, just like many of us, have one or two people in the beginning. But when you consistently, consistent is the word, consistently show up, you are going to convert those people. And it may be that you find that you do better on live streams, maybe that you find you do better locally, do better one-on-one, -on -one, you do better partnering with gyms or spas or, or already existing practices that have a footprint of people, um, they'll get clear. So I started with a crappy site and sold my first detox at 87. <laughs> I did it on Eventbrite. Pricing is relative and strategic. Let me also say that I sold my first detox at 87, and then I sold do-it-yourselves anywhere from $17 to $97. The 97, I added extra bonus classes, bonus videos, bonus how-tos, and extra documents and handouts. If you're struggling with a sales page, do Eventbrite, make it simple, make it easy. Even do it on a blog. Make sure that you have, of course, the connection to get the money. And if you're doing an event locally or at your home and you're doing a detox class, you can always do Square right on your phone. Have fun, share your social proof. <laughs> okay, so here is your homework. You're gonna download the funnel. You're gonna download the planner that is in gift one. I'm going to map out tomorrow, which is at four o'clock. We're gonna map out using, and this is a pretty long series. We're mapping out the exact funnel. So um, even if you don't have active campaign or Infusionsoft or Entreport or anything, you still can use this. You will be able to download that. I'm adding a bonus class the next day 
because I really want to speak about when you have no list and how to launch and how to get visibility and some ways that I ended up getting clients and also how to launch when you don't really have a team. So you are able to use Boss 15. This is a 15% code that is applicable to full pay programs and to the blog package. Um, also, if you're looking at a system and you see something that you're like, I would love to exchange that, we can make a VIP system for you. So please do not hesitate to reach out to me and ask. Do not hesitate to say, no, I do have this missing piece. I don't know what to do with it. Or maybe your goal right now is just even launch your business and to have the amount of freebies, the signature PowerPoints that you need to get your business started and so that you feel confident. Because I feel like that's the biggest thing that a lot of people don't. And if they don't have the confidence to go into that, you know, gym or the doctor's office and say, you know, and I, I teach weight loss. I teach it in a totally different way than people do. Or I've got this great program on adrenal health. I know you do lab testing here. How can we have a win-win situation? Um, it's the whole goal of every program. I can't tell you how many cool CrossFit places I walked into and was like, I've got a paleo program. You want to rock and roll? I mean, I just, I had that confidence. And that confidence comes with also thinking ahead of time and having that plan, 70-30, 60-40 split. So the biggest thing for you right now is to think about your dates, your price, to think about what are those extra fun little bonuses going to be, early bird price, late bird price. Set also daily deadlines. If you can commit, and most of you have nine to five jobs, or you're taking care of a loved one, or yourself, or your children, or you have multiple jobs, you're going to have to either commit about an hour a day, maybe 45 minutes, or you're going to have to outsource and hire a virtual assistant, or you're going to have to simplify your launch edit and put all the materials in a Facebook forum and just have everyone go into there instead of downloading from Dropbox. You can still put everything in Dropbox and make a, a document in that forum so that they are at least downloading. Um, or say to a loved one, um, hey, I need like four hours, you know, on Saturday. Take four hours on Saturday, four hours on Sunday, but spend daily time showing up on Social media, three times a day, telling your story, leading the pre-launch, the pre-drip, or building collaborations offline. Let me just take your question. Rodney's saying, I know a lot of health coaches, um, but would you make one of them a person you would have try a program for testimony? Um, I would definitely. I mean, I see this all the time. Um, you can... I would definitely have them sign an NDA first because that's your private. Um, but I think most of us, how many of us know at least five people <laughs> that we could reach out to and say, hey, you know, I am starting this business. I'm super excited. Um, would you be willing to try this program for three or four days? And most people will say yes. I would say also a really great way to get um, to build the buzz is even going on Facebook and saying, I am super excited. <laughs> I am launching a program in April. Um, this is based really on my health, my hero journey. And this is this was step one of my hero journey. And I'm looking for five people to test this program. You will get this program for free. Um, and if you'd like to know the details, personal message me. You might get more, and you probably will, more than even five people. You could even say, I need three testimony. I need three people. And just say, personal message me. And boom, right there. Right across the back. So think about the different ways that you can do that. Um, because there's so many cool, fun ways. You can even do a giveaway for a program and make people um, shoot a video. Shoot a video. Tell people why they need to get your program, why they deserve it. 
Um, what about their health, you know, that deserves to have, you know, what you're giving them and have them shoot a video and then share it to your personal page, share it, share it. So again, so many ways to build authority, so many ways to create excitement. And also I encourage you to just get out of your own way. Don't live in the fear, go for it, have a lot of fun because people buy your excitement. So don't overthink, <laughs> you know, if you can't do a sales page, just do it on Eventbrite. Seriously, do it on Eventbrite. Don't think about the email sequences. Don't overthink. Think about the simple program that is easiest um, to launch and just go for it. Was this helpful, guys? Was today like helpful? Okay, awesome. So we will be meeting tomorrow at four. Um, don't worry, you'll get the replay if you're like out with your family. And then I'm gonna do an extra one because I wanna cover list building and um, I also wanna cover any questions that people have about the programs because I know we have a lot. Um, and some people have very specific ones about like the essential oil program that's based on Cleanse and Restore. Some people have very specific ones about like Revitalize, the Adrenal one. Um, some even of our different freebies. So again, if you have any questions, I'm here for you. Thank you so much. Um, happy Friday to all of you. Love all. Again, my name is Rachel Feldman, and you can find all of this at www.yourhealthcoachbiz.com. I will see you guys later. Have a beautiful one, and tag me in our free forum so I can hear how I can support you guys. Take it easy. Bye, guys.